Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome everybody to the version of the video portion of the Stephen Cartwright Show. And uh, this video will be called Black Men Thinking for Themselves. You know, one thing I, I was just sitting back and I was just uh, writing up some things on. And I wanted to make this video to where... You know, black men have to start thinking for ourselves. We really and truly do. And I believe by us not thinking for ourselves in the specific terms and lanes that I'm about to lay out, that it not only hurts us, but I think it makes us a poor judgment and character and I believe when we judge like this here uh, and we do not take out the time we block our blessings and we allow people to come in and take wrongful advantage uh, of us when we uh, do not take out the time to see people for who they really are and for people when they are being genuine. Uh, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, but first, before I start, Tonight at 9 p.m., the live stream uh, 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 will be up. People, uh, 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 people, we should support. That's We're going to talk about that tonight. Uh, in the live stream, 9 p.m., ladies and gentlemen. But uh, anyway, uh, us as black men, we have to stop. And we have to start making our own judgments about things through discernment. Uh, I'm going to say we're, we have been bad judges at uh, for a very, very long time. Especially in the black community with a lot of black people. We're going to say, we already know, mean mugging by our women. We have to stop allowing them to do that. But let's get off into other things. We know that one. When we listen at people speak. And we listen at what people has to say. And if they say one thing that you necessarily don't agree with. Or you don't understand. You automatically discard them. People, they automatically discard them or they disagree with them without even taking the time to even understanding what they're talking about. We have to stop doing this. We have to start paying more attention to people that <clears throat> is really campaigning for us. It is one of the reasons why that made me start taking more of an active look. We're going to use politics this time at the GOP and other people that has came uh, into our communities and talked to us as people. And we even had things such as like this here. I got to give credit where credit's due. You know, Donald Trump was the only president that I ever known that actually walked up and asked for our vote. I've seen that as something that is very significant and genuine. That is something us as black men, I, I'm talking to black men. Black women can come alone if you want to, but I found this something that can be very, very genuine. 
uh, gentlemen. I sure did. Found it as something that could be very, very genuine. The reason why I say that is because I have never heard liberals as long as we <coughs> have been voting for them and supporting them. They have never came and asked literally for our vote, for our support. This is the, uh, uh, the reason why I, uh, I say this here, gentlemen. Hear me out. That's one thing. We've got to start opening up our ears more. When a person walks up and they ask you for their support, whether it is politically or, or even your own child, it doesn't matter. You walk up and you ask a person for something. You are in the position. You are you feel obligation. You are obligated to take care of what you say with that person. That is where liberals have been getting away with this here at, and they can channel in any way that they want to. We need to stop allowing things like this here. So let me get back to my example. We're going to say, if I walk up and I ask another gentleman or another lady let me use your car. Don't you think? And that person says, yes, I, uh, uh, I can, you can use my car. Don't you think that I walked up and I asked for that? I am obligated to take care of that car. Because I am asking that person. Specifically for something that belongs to them. That is what made me take a look at it. Us as men, we have to become better judges and we have to start using our votes. And our different thinking, we've got to learn how to think for ourselves. And we need to learn to take out the time instead of being led. That only benefits someone else or other people as black men. This is something that we must understand, gentlemen. We must understand this. And it's where a lot of the mistakes that we make at. We make a lot of mistakes like this here, gentlemen. And it's how we are always getting taken advantage of. Our own women even mean mothers. And, and, and then what people, when we do that, they don't respect you because they don't believe that you have a mind to think of your on your own. Especially, you you don't uh, don't realize how much you can learn and how much more, how much further we'll get if we took out the time to figure out what people are saying and where that that course could be better if you took out the time to listen enough. We need to stop being led by these women and these politicians that can just come up and dance around the words. See, I'm going to use like Raphael Warnock. I didn't like that debate. I didn't. Because he danced around everything without obligating himself to anything. He didn't even ask for the black community's vote. We're going to use that. And they use that out here in the general public too. That is what made me take a second look at 
other people that is willing to take on the commitments that black men need in order to do better in this country. Because when you come up and you ask for it specifically, you're obligated. They feel sorts of obligation to you. They're asking you for something. And that's why I respect former President Trump, I do respect it for that. He is the only one that ever did it. And then a lot of people, they will sit up and they will try to mock you for respecting something that is respectable. What do you want them to do? Just And, and liberals just they just feel like they have a renaissance and, uh, and other people wait through life. That's just like even with our women. They believe that we should go their way and, and, and they shouldn't ever have to explain the reason why or they can dance around the situation in order to be able to get away with it. That's why I say, that's why I named this video, Black Men Thinking for Themselves. Start thinking. Use this thing. And stop thinking that everything, every time we look up and we, we you don't see it the way that that person do. You have to think, you have to listen at them long enough in order to realize and understand. That's just like with my videos. Go back and listen at it. Listen at it enough in order to be able to, in order to be able to make a conscious decision on what you do. That's how they've been getting us, ladies and gentlemen. And carry it through life. Black men thinking for themselves. Think for yourself. Stop being so easily influenced. By the powers that be even in our own community. No, you're going to no make them work for it. And give it and give it time to think about the thought process. Don't go along just to be going along. Stop allowing your love your affection, your vote, your very existence to be dictated by everybody else. Allow it to be dictated by you. Black men must start thinking for themselves. And we can learn and we can show that we can get what we want to, even if we have to go through someone else. This works in every form of life. And this is why a lot of them, they just don't respect us, gentlemen, because they don't, they believe that we don't have the ability to think for ourselves. I say this to black men. I wanted to make this short video today to talk with black men and this is to talk with black men and this is has what has been the problem even also into our communities because we have people that has shown us inside of our community and outside of our communities that they have nothing but bad intentions for us This is how a lot of people, they pin black men up against each other. Women. Women too. Lose our lives, our livelihood, because we do not have the, uh, we, they have so much influence. And they have to give up nothing in return. Something that black men need to start thinking about. We're talking about politically and locally. 
You ain't asking for my vote. And you're not willing to obligate something to me through tangibles and other things, how it's going to be better. Because I'm tired of the legislation. And then you can channel it any way that you want to. I'm tired of the mean mug and so I can vote so you can, uh, so you will be the only beneficiary. Black men must get off of this. That is the reason why I named this video Black Men Thinking for Themselves. We love y'all, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the end of this video. See y'all 9 p.m. tonight. Peace out.